I sometimes feel a crisis in journalism um, because if I don't search hard, well, if I don't search a little, I won't find anything but press releases that are reproduced, um, press conferences that are simply broadcasted, and this is news. Um, we have a lot of that these days. I understand why we have it. Um, it's the cause of education, pressure at work, cuts in funds. So I'm talking about the, the average uh, media outlet. Um, I consider this a crisis. And uh, to come out of this crisis, we would have to start asking questions, digging for information again. Um, in some cases, stop letting them talk, whoever they are. The, the, the officials, especially, who are supposed to be there to tell you their version. You can have their version, but you also need to dig and uh, find the other side and, and so forth, do actual work. Uh, so we have an odd situation. But we also have a very cool situation, because you have the people who do the old-style job, and the old-style has its value, sometimes. And you have the people like, perhaps me, but there are many better examples uh, where I go to look, um, people who are doing their own independent reporting, using their wits and their skills and their networks, and they're able to find information that the mainstream or the average media outlet cannot, will not, is not allowed. Um, so in a way we have a cool blend because we can look to different style uh, media. I like uh, even comedy media, you know, making fun of the news. There's a lot of truth in shows and individuals who make fun of the news. Um, it's a good tool, in fact, to be critical and ask questions. But what we know is that this isn't sustainable, and we know this because I've watched, even in just 10 years, good bloggers great bloggers, great video bloggers, video takes a little more time, and after a year of great production and, and things I'll never forget, they had to stop because they have children who need to be fed and there's no money in this. I consider it also a bad time and a crisis point because so many great independent producers who we should have funded, we should have supported, whatever we could do, I don't, it doesn't have to be money, it could have been introducing them to the right person, um, they're gone. And the fact that they're gone, I think, is, uh, shows that something is wrong. I'm not afraid of a world where a journalist is not necessarily objective. Uh, there have been newspapers for many centuries, uh, decades, um, called alternative newspapers, where people felt free to give their opinion and then do a report from somewhere. And you can decide, and here's the problem now with the internet, no longer do we have to sit down and look up and say, dear journalist, Please be honest as you always have been. Now it's up to us to read the content and say, wait a minute, something's not right here. Yeah? And there's a problem because many people don't have time, don't take time, even if they have it, or never learned how to read something critically. Uh, a media education is still not a reality in much of the world, even the wealthy areas of the world, you know, they still they don't necessarily learn how to be critical. Well, I think what's going to happen is there will be a specialty. Uh, it'll be special to have a newspaper or a magazine, so there will be some uh, editions that are made, uh, maybe even a regular edition, oh. you know, but the newspaper will have to look at their online version as their product, and the newspaper and paper as this extra thing that we do that's nice. Um, and I think that's nice, actually, because or well, it could be, you know, because you would be happy to have this paper, because it's rare. In most of the world, including the places I live in, TV is still the dominant, and television is going to have to get more creative. Uh, they're going to see less money. Um, a lot like the internet when it started. Uh, so I think a lot could still be done with this channel, but it has to become more open, um, and they're going to have to experiment. Uh, different kinds of programming, allowing access to people with not who aren't millionaires to control a channel, um, become a community tool maybe instead of a national tool.